Here's step two of the turn by turn voice mod tutorials uh, cutting audio files. Uh, in this tutorial, we're gonna show the, I guess, second hardest step of this entire mod, uh, which is finding the files that AVIC has already spliced um, in comparison to the new kit files that they don't have spliced and making them exactly like what AVIC has. Um, what I mean is this. So we're going to find files in the original uh, and the kit files that are similar. <laughs> I've opened up both files. Um, we have in here, um, in the kit OGGs, we have turn left in one file and in the uh, audio file from AVIC we have files like turn I don't know how I guess I, I'm pretty sure this is from TomTom Tom. I don't know how they whatever they have going on works but it works for them so whatever and we're gonna change that here to make it work for us uh, what we do now is we have to take the kit file from kit wave so from the kit wave folder we take turn left and we're gonna we're gonna upload that to Adobe Sound Booth and we're gonna edit it. So we don't need this right now. Exit that and we don't need this right now. Uh by the way, right now we are on step two. Yeah. So I've already opened up Adobe Sound Booth because it takes forever and a day to open. So we're going to open our file, um, which is in kit waves, and I'm going to do with turn left. And he off here, you're not going to be able to hear this off my sound card, maybe a little bit, but just trust me that it works. So I'm going to play it one or two times so I know what I'm doing, and then I'll talk about what I mean. Turn left. Okay, so right now it's a turn left. Cool. I want to take left off of this. Or maybe later on you're going to want to take turn off of this so you keep left. So I have to take out left. If we remove this, now we have something else like turn l. Turn l. See, I have l. So I got to get rid of that. And that's what we have now. Turn. Now I have just turn that's exactly what we want so we go file save as to your desktop and rename it I'm gonna rename it well you have to rename it turn uh, in lowercase believe it or not it matters so we save that leave everything alone if you're using another program like audacity uh, for example um, I think that's free I'm almost positive it is you go to their website or Google it like everyone else. Um, it's the same thing. Just leave everything alone. Uh, if you want Adobe Sound Booth, you can buy it off their website. Or I mean, I'm sure you guys can find other ways to find this. Anyway, so that's saved. Um, now we don't need this. Anyway, so now that that's on our desktop, we need to convert it. Um, so now we're technically on step five. Let's convert it into an OGG. Um, I use this program here. Uh, I like it. Uh, if you guys want, I will give you the website. But I'm I'm sure there's other ways. Anyway, take that, put it in there, and we convert. So if you have this exact program right here where it says encoders, you go down to OGG. And yeah, I'm going to upload this to the desktop. And we click encode, and this program works awesome. Done. And we close that. Now we have turned that OGG with kit on the desktop, and we have we have turned OGG under the audio from the original AVIC file, which is here. We open up the new main project, and these are the files from previous. 
and we click and drag the turn OGG from audio which is the original AVIC to the new main project which makes that void in the audio file so you're never gonna find it again so there's no issues and we take the new kit turn that OGG and we drag it over it has to be replaced just like in tutorial one and you say yes that's it that's all you gotta do so if there's files that are on here that we need like next and in kit uh, we have things like next turn or whatever just take off turn and you have next so yeah uh, that's the end of tutorial 2 um, real quick we've moved everything over from turn uh, to the main project and off the desktop to the main project and that's it so thanks for watching tutorial 2 uh, this has been Hagzy and thanks again